Hello there my friend. How are you doing today? And where are you watching from? I hope you are well. Lots of love and respect to yourself for clicking this video. You see I believe if we join hands, or rather hearts, we can spread good vibes to the whole world. Just like we here are dedicated towards ensuring all earthlings are united, able to forgive one another, live with honesty, and above all, be in peace and spreading love. And wonderful soul, we do that by reacting together to videos, interesting videos, some that might leave your jaw on the floor or tickle your funny bone, all with the intentions of spreading love. I am with everyone on Hitchman and my bunny friend here, yeah, yeah, is Kazukubo. Right out of Africa, it's lots of good vibes. Let's dive in. So hmm. weird. Sun's coming up there. The moon is still up there. This is the interesting way street popcorn is made in China. The explosive technique Chinese street vendors use to prepare the tasty snack is hugely popular with tourists visiting the country. First, the kernels are poured into a metal container that is secured shut. Then the pot is placed over an open flame and spun to heat the kernels inside. With no air getting inside the pot, the pressure slowly builds as the treat heats up. Once it's ready, a sack is placed at one end of the pot to catch the popcorn when it's opened. And it's quite the explosion. The difference in air pressure when the lid is opened causes the popcorn to fly out. And there you have it, freshly popped popcorn. Oh, oh man, uh, that looks like good vibes. Uh, do you think that this was extremely impressive or do you think that this was extremely petty? So this guy whose name is Victor, he was at the Grand Canyon when he picked up this rock right here and he decided to record a TikTok video saying that it's crazy that he's going to be the last person in the entire world to hold this rock. After Victor said that he was going to be the last person in the entire world to hold that rock, he proceeded to throw the rock off the cliff as you can see right there. Then he posted his video onto TikTok and millions of people ended up seeing that video. Like I said, millions of people ended up seeing that video, including this influencer right here whose name is Justin Schmidt. He did a bunch of research, found the exact location where Victor threw the rock off of the cliff at, and guess what? As you can see right there, he ended up finding the exact rock so Victor was not the last person to ever touch that rock. I honestly have no idea how he was able to find the exact rock. That definitely took a lot of time and dedication to find the exact one. And to me, I think it's very impressive. It is still a little bit petty, so I think it's both petty and impressive. But I think it's more impressive in my eyes. And what do you think about this? Oh man, humans are full of wonders. Good vibes. So everybody knows those dogs that just inhale their food. Well, watch how gently Pooh Bear eats his carrots. Oh, good vibes. Oh my god. This is April 27, 20. April 27 of 2011, Karman, Alabama, somewhere like that. This is an EF. Oh my god. For a tornado, what is this? A tornado, this is something scary. You see, these are just some things that uh, I hear and uh, read uh, others in books. I mean, this is real stuff that happens. Is that the window? Oh my god. Possible dead man walking ships. Don't it's. Left hand, this is crazy. Possible dead man walking shapes throughout its left hand. Do you think this is uh, some uh, creature or this is just normal? Oh, 
Oh my god. Now that this will be Saka Stafford. What happens? Oh man. This is really scary. Oh my god. What is happening now? It's like even the clouds are coming down. Who could the people of us? How have you ever had such a situation in your life or the encounter? Oh my god. Huh. Oh, what is going on here? This guy has this egg that looks like some dragon egg. Oh, what is it egg for? Some this here looks like some ostrich. Oh, oh, let's see if this is an ostrich or some good web squid. Oh, and the quail loves to play with the cat there, you see? Because uh, after all, they are all animals and uh, they understand good vibes. Oh. And they grew up becoming dramatic, even playing even with the dogs. Oh, this is getting pretty tall. This one is not a quail, maybe it's an ostrich. Let's see, man. Oh. And they are pretty playful. This is good vibes, man. These animals are just incredible. Good people of us. If you treat them nicely, these animals and nature and just everything around, you'll be blessed and the good vibes will come your way, you see? These animals, they're just uh, lovely when we stay with them in peace and uh, have fun, you see? They are even helpful. You see, this ostrich became big now and uh, it is, can even become taller than you could have expected and it's just good vibes, you see? Imagine having a ostrich that knows you. Oh, how could that be? A ostrich that has grown up uh, knowing you. It's good vibes, you see? What other pet do you guys have out there? So, oh, leave your comments, tell us. Hmm. Where are you what you from? Good people of earth, you see? Much love to you. Okay, you guys remember yesterday when everybody was experiencing problems with their cell phone company. So the night of the incident taking place, this guy looks up in the sky and videotapes it and it looks like there is a huge rip in the sky. This is in Portland, Oregon, you guys. This is in Portland, Oregon. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. I think the sky is ripped in hell. Come on, Claude. Get out the way. Y'all see the line? It go all the way. Look at that. Damn. There it is. Look at look at the, the light in the dark. It's literally separating in half, y'all. And you see how the clouds always try to block the sun and the moon now? And he says there's something fall out the sky. So I traced back his channel and someone asked him where he lives because apparently there was a satellite that fell out of the sky. Um, between Alaska and Hawaii at 4 in the morning and when I found out I found out he lives in Portland Oregon which is literally on the west coast y'all now I'm not sure a satellite caused this because we have a firmament over our head so I don't know where the satellites would be at anyways but uh something weird is happening in the skies because you know this is literally the world split I've been telling you all right 3d and 5d split literally what's going on what y'all think so what do you guys think about that video about that split because anomalies like this are happening in the sky more and more every single day and again people are looking up in the skies because the sky is changing it's like literally the things is changing you know and it's causing the earth to change as well as above so below but this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only i am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting time thank you for tuning to my frequency you already know y'all we are in this shift and there's no stopping it so let's get it peace in Good vibes, man. Please leave your comments. I'm going over that. there to see these things and show them we're not afraid. In the name of God, we are going to find these creatures. No, please, Americans, do not come over here. This is why we did not want to tell you guys that these creatures exist. These are people, they are indigenous, and they are no threat. No. Even the people in this video trying to catch them, they are Filipinos from America, not from here. You do not have to destroy everything you see, my friend. And you do not have to conquer everything you see, my friend. You see, this is why the United States is portrayed the way they are to the entire world. Just behave, respect nature, respect humanity. Be aliens, spirits, we can all, we can all coexist. Share this message, let our brothers know. Please show us, let us know if there are any good Americans left, any good kindness. Do you agree? Follow to see more.
Peace, man. Good people of earth. Peace and unity. You see? This affects you every day and you don't even know it. Humans send and receive energy whether they want to or not. And once you become aware of this and consciously do it, it will completely change your reality for the better. Everything is energy and the only thing separating you from everything around you is the frequency in which the atoms are vibrating at. Now, all energy holds information and you have the ability to manipulate it. In fact, you do all the time without noticing. This is why it's so important to become conscious of this. Otherwise, your subconscious will have huge control over your life and your reality's energy. For example, if you cook while angry, then you're programming that food's information with that vibration, which you then eat. And that information then worsens your energy. If you were to cook the food with a positive intention like love, then the energetic effects of the food will be positive on you. Your intention, whether conscious or not, gives information to energy. So live a conscious life, imprint your intention in your reality. And to learn energy manipulation in depth and align with the true supernatural power of your being, comment Circle 11 for my free class only on IG. Oh. Look at this magic stone with powers from another dimension. Oh, this is crazy, man. Where do people get this stuff? This magic stone. Hey, Look at this stone. It's like it's vibrating. Is this stone alive or what's up? Oh, these are the kind of stones that maybe you are told they would talk on those end times. You see, from how it is behaving like this now, it is very creepy. No more stones don't do that. Or good people of earth, where you come from, the stones do that. You see, this stone can even boil eggs. How is this possible? Oh my god. Hey, this stone is creepy. What? Where did these people find this stuff? You see? You should be very honest with one another, you see? Because stuff like this now it could all be annoying. Hey, even Kasuguma has been afraid he has decided to come closer because he does not understand how stones like this ones can exist. You see, they are boiling eggs. Hell, oh, is this normal? Good people of earth, this is unbelievable. What do reptilians, shapeshifters, and the bells that went missing have in common? The Germans are the ones that took the bells. The Germans were also infatuated with the Vril Society, a.k.a. the Reptilians. The Reptilian race are the shapeshifters. Now, shapeshifting is not actually what they do. The way that they shapeshift is they take a frequency and blast it into your visual cortex so what you are seeing is not a reptilian. So it's not actually shapeshifting, it's just changing your perception of reality. These bells were actually a defense weapon, so we could not be tricked by their frequency trying to trick our visual cortex into believing that they were a skin suit versus a reptile. The frequency from the bells disrupted the frequency or the spell that they were putting under our visual cortex. Rebell to change the frequency. So of course, they got all the bells so that they could hide among us in peace so that we could not discover the true deception that they were placing upon us. This is the true reason why the Germans took all the bells. Everyone's saying, oh, they took all the bells. Why did they take the bells? This is why, because they are in bed with the reptilian race and they are allowing them to walk among us rent free without us even knowing right under our nose. Yes, I understand that the bells could be used for a healing frequency and they could be healing the body. This is how they kill two birds with one stone. They take away our ability to heal and they take away our ability to visually recognize the reptilians that walk amongst us. Everything is starting to make sense. It's time to wake up, people. Let me know in the comments if it checks out. Peace. See this for entertainment purposes, you see? Good vibes. So for the past couple of days, you guys, India has been getting bombarded with tornadoes of mosquitoes. Y'all, check this out. These are all mosquitoes. Those are all mosquitoes. It's like twisters and twisters of, <laughs> of mosquitoes, y'all. Check this out. It's just crazy. You can see them in the lens. So you guys know how it's been um, flooding and raining everywhere? You guys know that, right? So India has been one of the spots where it has been flooding a lot. So because of this, there has been a lot of water, excess of water, and this is causing mosquitoes. They, they call them the netizens. The netizens, it, it's telling them to use flamethrowers because it's so much out there, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Jesus. Now, what would you do if you saw 
tornadoes or mosquitoes like this, y'all? How would you escape that? That's crazy. Like, where is it all coming from? Look at that. You can even ride your motorcycle or moped in peace without being, but wow. Yo, that's just insane, y'all. This area has resulted in rising numbers of mosquitoes. But I'm just, look at that, y'all. It looks like DNA strands. Right? But where are they all coming from? This is where I want to know. Where are they coming from? That water is not joking, y'all. That water that was frozen, that's making its way onto the earth now, that's being removed from the Arctic, right? Making its way onto the earth now, it's not playing. And now India is being bombarded with mosquitoes with the potential of bringing diseases from these mosquitoes, y'all. Y'all know what mosquitoes do. But yeah, but this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting time. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift, y'all. Peace in. Hmm. Do you think that is this stuff? All right, we got to talk about one of the most absurd species of shark on Earth. These are thresher sharks, and they're known for their whip-like tails that could be as long as their body. And these sharks put that tail to good use. They go ahead and they do a behavior called tail slapping, where they swim after a prey, get in front of it, and slap it with their tail, stunning the animal. And these sharks are also known for their stunning aerial displays. These sharks, just like whales, will sometimes jump out of the water, often doing spins. But as to our current understanding of these sharks, there is no credible reason why they do this. And despite their formidable appearance, these sharks are relatively friendly around humans. They rarely ever bite people, and your only real threat is that they might possibly whip you with their tail. Oh, that sounds interesting, man. Good vibes. Right here check. where this valley comes out, there's a, a, a natural waterway. It's a dry riverbed. If you went into that wadi, you would find there are rocks all over the place, but they've all been pushed out of the way to make a path. Somebody pushed all the rocks out of the way to make a path for wagons, apparently. That dry riverbed, the wadi, ends up at that white dot, which you can barely see on from the satellite map. That white dot is actually this giant beach. Off to the right, you can see where that wadi comes into it, that dry riverbed. At the south end, Ron Wyatt found this pillar. And it basically said something to the effect of this pillar was erected by King Solomon to commemorate the crossing of the Red Sea. So they thought, is this where they crossed the Red Sea? Hmm. But Ron and his sons went scuba diving in the Red Sea and found all along, as far as they could go, chariot wheels with no chariots attached to them and chariot bodies crumbling badly, poorly conditioned, you know, with no wheels on them. They found horse skeletons and human skeletons crusted over with coral. The chariot wheels, you can see one here in this picture, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's gold-plated wood, but the wood has rotted out. There's only one Egyptian dynasty that used four-spoke, six-spoke, and eight-spoke, all three types used in this one dynasty. And all three are found down there, or something like that. Oh, what does that tell you, man? Leave your comments about you guys, that. guys, oh my god, watch this. You are aware that April will have 10 palindrome dates, right? You're aware that starting on 420, April will have four, 10 palindrome dates. What are palindrome dates, might you say? And I told you guys this will be a special month, but let's look up what palindrome dates are. Here we go. So starting on April 20th, April will have palindrome dates, 10 in a row. What are palindrome dates? Well, each date reads the same backwards and forward for 10 straight days. Y'all don't find that interesting or suspicious? Look at these dates. So starting on 420, all the way to the 29th, all of those days will read the same going forward as they do backwards. Guys, open your eyes. And as they said, there will be signs in the sky. So right now, we have just had a major earthquake in Taiwan, a major earthquake in Japan, a earthquake that may be on the horizon in California. And then we have these 10 palindrome dates in April. Are you paying attention? Because if you're not, you might get caught off guard. Not only that, what just happened with our food? Bird flu. The first human case of bird flu has been contracted in Texas. 
jumping from a chicken to a cow to a human. You guys are not finding this stuff suspicious, right? Well, I do. Open your eyes. Oh, my God. Good people of that. Please, uh, what do you think about that? I never noticed this in Genesis chapter 6. Before God brings the flood, in verse 1 it says, When man began to multiply on the face of the land, pay attention, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw, number one, that the daughters of men were attractive, and they took, number two, as their wives, and they any that they chose. And then number three, then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be 120 years. We've seen this specific pattern already in scripture. In Genesis chapter 3 and chapter 4, when Eve sees the forbidden fruit, she takes of it, she gives to Adam, and then God has some choice words, some consequences for Adam and Eve. In Genesis 4, Cain sees that God has favor on Abel, and he takes Abel's life out of jealousy and, and hatred and anger. And then the Lord says to Cain, uh, whatever his judgment ends up being, this is a pattern throughout scripture. Pay very close attention to when you read the Bible, whether you see this pattern or not people or creatures seeing taking and then god giving them the just consequences oh man people should always be diving also you see Good did you bird. guys hear about the sun simulator and dead horse alaska blowing up that makes sense as to why there has been a lot of activities in the terms of cloud seeding in the skies because there's something going on there that they don't want us to see now i want you to watch this video and check it out i'm more than happy to bring it to you no problem here we go Watch the sky. Look at the, how great the sky is. Okay, there's the first part of the craziness, and then uh, we will advance. Okay? You see, it's like a, a fight. She's a normal. Okay? Blows up. Okay? I mean, that... Is not see the explosion? Our sun. our sun does not do that, because if it did, we would be crispy. Okay? Plain and simple. Let me explain to you why we're not crispy. It's because this is, is a sun simulator. The real sun is behind the sun. Okay. Watch this. It seems like there's a little bit of a separation going on. Uh, could be multiple things going on here. Like uh, our real sun could be actually uh, behind it. The real sun is always behind the sun simulator, just so you know. The sun simulator is very close to our orbit so um just out of our atmosphere because they want you to see that and not the real sun okay so that you don't see eclipses which the real sun isn't here now you know a planetary system moving through it yeah all that kind of thing crazy okay keep watching <laughs> what in the world Y'all see that? It's like a big solar flare. So you went from this to this to this to that. Y'all see that? What? And the whole sky is covered up. Look at this. I mean, it, it's just unbelievable. Okay? Unreal. And then all the clouds disappear. Y'all see that? It's like the sun was fighting the clouds. I be telling y'all, the sun be fighting the clouds to stay out in the open. It's like you being suffocated by a blanket or by a towel and you're trying to remove yourself from the towel. The sun is a living entity. It wants to breathe. It wants to shine upon us. But these demons, these devils are not letting it. Y'all see that? Why do y'all think the clouds only follow the sun? Do y'all ever notice that? The clouds only follow the sun. Why is that? Because they're trying to block it. Certain clouds that have been created with nanotechnology in it are specifically created in order to stay in front of the sun to block the light of the sun from achieving us. Excuse me, reaching us because of the times that we are in right now. See, the sun is causing judgment upon this. So now the real sun is clashing with the solar simulator. You know what I'm saying? Because this is about to go offline when the solar flare goes off. But as you can see, it's literally fighting the clouds in order to shine light upon us. Because this is what we do. We literally shine light upon this situation. But these people over here, you know, they don't want that. This is why all this is happening right now, y'all. What do y'all think about this video? Do you guys remember this commercial? They always tell you everything. Check it out, y'all. Look at this. Sun simulator, y'all see that?
That would be analogous to the great solar eclipse, the solar flare that's happening, y'all. That's the real sun. This huge spherical object here, that's the real sun that they don't want you to know about. And this is why they obfuscate it with all these clouds. They do not want us to come in contact or see this huge thing over here. But it is way too late, y'all. They're only prolonging the inevitable. That's all they're doing. You can never stop what God has planned, boy. That's for sure. <laughs> you can never stop what we plan. That's all I can tell you. But let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. You already know we're in the shift, y'all, and we're getting it. So let's get it. Peace in. Yo, oh, man. Cool vibes to the end. Leave your comments, man. The trick has fooled me for 13 years. Which trick? How did this happen? This is crazy, man. Oh. Looks like floating stuff. Oh my god. Does she have some grass or what's going on? Hmm. So this is what you do. Oh. Wait. How is this possible? What is, what's going on here? Uh huh. Oh, so you have one coin there and a grass. Oh, and it's not some real grass. What is this? Wait. Oh, wait, wait. The coin is not some real coin. It also has some two sides. Maybe some magnet in between there. Uh-huh. And the coin can change and look like two coins. This is incredible. Oh my god. You see, humans have perfected the art of... Uh, of playing with other humans mind and it's just incredible look at this oh hmm did you understand that trick leave your comments so you're telling me that the mailbox is still standing but the entire house is gone how the hell what the hell what is this put up with hold on hold on are we allowed to walk i mean nobody lives here anymore obviously the fuck? Oh. Damn, I want to I want to know what kind of mailbox they put in there. Are we like allowed to walk on here? I have no idea. Well, I'm doing it. This was literally a house. Oh, you mean that made books can survive all that? Hello, my name is Sysidic and I want to teach you everything I know about psychokinesis. Today I want to talk about moving heavy objects. Some of you keep on asking me and other practitioners about moving heavy objects. Some of you seem to be really frustrated while trying to figure out how to move heavy objects. I will try to explain what the problem is. What I am about to tell you is very important and most likely the main reason why you struggle to move heavy objects, or why you struggle to move any object at all. issue that you have is that you are not supposed to move objects. Yes, you heard that correctly. Self-mastery is about creating the connection between your mind and the source. Self-mastery is a journey of self-improvement. One does not embark on this journey to move objects. One does not embark on this voyage to learn a party trick. You choose to follow the path of the masters before us because you want to transcend the physical world, because you want to be ready for what comes next in the future stages of reality. Telekinesis is just an exercise to help you realize that your mind can go beyond your physicality. That is the key. Listen to these words carefully. Beyond physicality. Beyond physicality. Let me repeat it one more time. Your mind can go beyond physicality. Once you realize that, why would you care so much about the physical world? The reason why you can't move heavy objects, or any objects at all, is because you are focusing too much on the physical object and the physical movement. 
when the actual goal here is to go beyond physicality. Instead you are still here in this realm focusing on an object and getting frustrated that its physical form is not moving. Stop worrying about the object, about how heavy it is, what kind of shapes it has and start focusing on what your next step is going to be. Remember if you are trying to use your journey of self-mastery to gain some sort of advantage over others, or because you want to impress your friends, it will never work. Be honest with yourself and ask the question, why am I worried about moving heavy objects? Truly and honestly ask yourself this question and if you arrive at the obvious honest answer of your own ego, then you will know exactly why you can't move heavy objects or any object at all. I hope this helps. Remember to stay true to yourself, stay safe, meditate and keep on going forward in your journey of self-mastery. Huh. This is incredible, man. Good people of art. Thanks for watching up to this far. You see what that good vibes guy was talking about in that video? Telekinesis, whatever that is for lifting stuff. Myself, I don't, I've never had such an experience. I don't know you yourself if you have ever, you see? Have you ever lifted stuff using mind or that? But there is some kinesis I know. It's called love kinesis. That's love kinesis is the ones here we are always talking about. Of spreading love. That one is very easy. It does not need a lot of stuff, meditation and that. No. It just needs you to be a good soul, you see? Like always hitting the like button, leaving comments and caring to those around you. Always being forgiving, you see? Good vibes to yourself, man. Thanks to good vibes guys in the comment section. Next episode, there is a very, very long list of some good vibes, guys. You see, you are all good vibes and big up to yourself for everything you do. For those that have clicked for the first time, love and respect, man. Till next time, bye-bye. Peace be with you. Goodbye.